Our meeting with uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to welcome everyone. Um, we're going to start out with uh, the Honorable Mr. Dan Sigler, our County Attorney. I have a short report. <laughs> Looked over a couple of contracts the last couple of weeks and approved those, and that's really all that I have for you. Did you have anything for it, Dan? No? Uh, boy, that was quick. Yeah, I got to wait for General Fever. I think he's got a question for me. So I'm going to yes. go around and read this. Okay. Interesting stuff. Good. Okay, first on our agenda then uh, is uh, Sheriff Hodges, dispatch equipment, okay, JNK Communications. I'm here to introduce Ted and Adam Ehrlich. JK and let them give a presentation to kind of help bring you up to speed on the two options that we previously talked about, and kind of give you a, an overview of, of what that's all about. Okay, I'm as much of you on Ted really to JK. This is information day, okay? I'm not trying to sell you a thing. Um, this is questions and answers, so this is going to be very open discussion. Uh, I'm going to pass out some stuff. I've got four. Thank you. This is just a notice from the manufacturer that XP is no longer going to be supported. And that's across the board. Anybody has XP software and computers, they're not, they're not going to be supported anymore. They have to go to Windows 7. So in a nutshell, what this means is if the Sheriff's Department consoles, which are XP driven, go down, J and K cannot get a replacement to get the system back up. That's what this really means. Then I'll pass out the presentation. Just on the on minutes for you leave that, is that because Windows 7 is more accurate? Newer and better job. Windows 7 is, is the processor of XP. Microsoft is not supported. No. It's not Zero so, on Microsoft. The presentation is on this here. So you view after that. Okay, what we're going to talk about is basically the next generation is coming up, which we call the Max. And it is a window based. Decision, but guess what? You have a choice. We can upgrade the current system, Windows 7. Your system is on the left. The new one is on the right. The difference in the two is one is IP, which is Internet Protocol. The one on the left is all wired, just like you have today. So you really do have a choice. The real question is, do we want to move into the future now, or do we want to prolong a little bit? So let me teach you some things here. This here is the new console. A uh, couple things it has. You see four speakers up there. Today's technology only allows two. What that means is, in today's technology, if they're talking to the sheriff's dispatch, it comes out one speakers. And the right speaker, which is the second one, they, they have to listen to four, or five, or six conversations come out once. You have to pick it up. Okay? In the new technology, I can dedicate three channels in this instance, so they never miss the conversation, and the fourth one listens to the balance of the uh, conversations. So that's, that's one of the big differences of this. But this is all window base, and what I want to do is show you a clip, and this is not to teach you about it, 
This is merely to show you some features of why we probably should look at the new console. Zetron is excited to introduce our next generation console platform, Max Dispatch. With this product, Zetron has taken our 30 plus years of console knowledge and experience and applied it to the development of Max Dispatch. This is an end-to-end -end IP based console system. While the product has the standard functionality one would expect in a console, it also possesses several key features that go above and beyond what others are doing in the industry. One of those groundbreaking features is the Max Dispatch user interface. Everyone is aware of the high stress environment that dispatchers face at times. In those very busy moments, dispatchers need to respond quickly to the field units in order to communicate instructions or send help. Bombarding the dispatchers with information that may not apply to the incident at hand could result in costly mistakes. Zetron's goal with our user interface is to reduce visual clutter and simplify their operation, allowing dispatchers to focus on critical tasks. Let's walk through the screen layout you see in front of you. Down the left side of the screen are icons representing different workspaces. Multiple workspaces may be created with each one holding a specific purpose. Each workspace may be locked by an administrator or unlocked, allowing dispatchers the freedom to move and resize buttons on their screen. Along the bottom of the screen are the main console controls, and in the center area are the radios the dispatchers interact with. The radio template seen here is designed to minimize the steps and button clicks for the dispatchers as well as to present information to the dispatcher only when they express interest in it. As you notice, when I hover the mouse over the key, additional icons and points of interest appear. Hovering the channel name brings up the list of available channels or talk groups for that base station. The arrow in the upper right corner shows the radio function panel. Here the dispatcher can select the mode or functions that can be applied to the base station. A simple one-click operation on any of these sets the base station for that mode. Here I have placed the base station into encrypted mode and applied a priority marker to that channel. The icons now appear, indicating I have changed the base station from its default state. One click on these icons simply brings it back to the original state. Left-clicking the radio button puts the audio into your select speaker. In the lower right corner is the per-channel audio controls. This menu allows the dispatcher to route their unselect or monitor audio to any available monitor speaker. Scrolling the mouse wheel changes the volume, and the icons to the left are for the channel boost and mute. Clicking on the VU meters at the bottom provides access to master volume controls. very important for the dispatcher right here. The icon in the lower left is where a dispatcher can create or add a radio to a patch. Global patching controls are at the bottom of the screen. From here, the dispatcher can join or exit the patch, see the members of that patch, or tear it down. traffic, you will notice that the picture or icon used to represent the ID of the individual is customized. This icon can be changed to represent the job function of that field unit. You can even use someone's picture if that information is available in your database. Dispatchers can access radios that are not permanently on their workspace by pulling them from the system resources menu. Radio buttons may be dragged onto a workspace provided the dispatcher has the permission settings to do so. Another powerful tool in the Max Dispatch software is the Activity View. The Activity View allows dispatchers access to information or activities that are not permanently visible on their screen. For example, 
The dispatchers may need to only focus on a handful of radios for their primary job, but need to know when activity is occurring on less frequently used radios. The activity view will show activity on a predefined radio that is not on the main screen of the dispatcher. The dispatcher can interact with it within this view. When the activity stops, the icon will then fade away. Or the dispatcher can drag it onto their workspace to interact with it on a more permanent basis. When it is no longer needed, the dispatcher removes the button by dragging it to the trash can. If they make a mistake, they may retrieve it from there and move it back onto the workspace. Other things that may show up in the activity view are sensor inputs, alarms, or an incoming telephone call. Zetron's goal with our user interface is to reduce information overload at the dispatch position and simplify operations, allowing dispatchers to focus on the most critical tasks. This introduction to Max Dispatch has provided a brief overview of some of those powerful features we use to accomplish that goal.